<coughs> well, good morning, uh, everyone, everybody. Uh, before I get, uh, we dive uh, into the water, uh, let's see how it works. Um, they asked me to do this uh, talk in uh, English, but I will do it in English. So uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's early for English. Uh, so creating freedom. Um, what you see here is our uh, office. And, uh, uh, and uh, you know, it's about creating dreams always for us. And before we get into the project I want to tell about here in Rotterdam, it's a really amazing project. And uh, I will talk about uh, how we get involved to it. So this is a quick overview uh, or, or for how we are. We are. And uh, <coughs> I thought, well, well this uh, lecture is in the, in, the, in the Boulder Hall. So this is our, one of our buildings we make in, uh, in, uh, in Venlo, in uh, Lindbergh. Big boulders underneath. And this is the way uh, you can sort of get a kind of impression of how we work. It is uh, the Dune house, and it was inspired by the Dunes. We make a clay model. And from the clay model, we make a, a model. Uh, and then from the model, we, we built actually the building. So with artificial dunes on top as a roof. And uh, this uh, last project, uh, I'm really proud of it. It's, it's a kind of, uh, it started as a company building, but it's uh, more uh, uh, nowadays a more uh, a cultural hotspot in uh, Amsterdam. You can visit it. You have uh, all kind of content over there. And <clears throat> I think that's uh, really nice to do. You know, you start with a project and become more than what you have thought of. That's uh, really nice. And, uh, but uh, then we were working uh, in a nice way. And then suddenly, you know, we, you will remember the 10 years ago, the big collapse. And it was for our, uh, as architects, it was really uh, a disaster. But, uh, well, the, you can't see it. But <laughs> um, in the same time, uh, we were in the, in, on holiday in Dudogne. And, uh, we are, we are living near in the, in the city of The Hague, near the canals, and my wife was thinking about buying a kayak. And uh, <laughs> we went to the Dodogne, and you can rent a kayak, and she thought, well, you know, uh, if I buy a kayak, why not renting as, them as well uh, if, uh, when I don't use it? So uh, when we were back, we, she started a <laughs> kayak rental in, uh, in The Hague. And, um, she, well, and then uh, we thought, uh, wow, if, if she's not around and it's a, it's a client for kayaking and uh, I'm in an office over there somewhere else in The, in, in the Hague and uh, I thought, well, the best way to do is to combine the two, uh, two uh, companies, you know. And uh, this, uh, you know, the, the kennels is always, the house on the kennels uh, is always expensive to hire or to buy. So that's, uh, we thought, we, let's buy a boat. And uh, we found this one, and that's our office. <laughs> and it's really, uh, it's older than the Titanic, by the way, this boat. Yeah. It's uh, an old barn, it's uh, from 1906, and it's still floating, you know? It's, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we work hard. We have a saying in, in, in Holland, uh, a kopen boat werk je dood. I don't know how you translate it in English, but it's really true. But it's also nice, uh, nice to do. You can uh, see we have a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, finally it's a lot of work. And uh, uh, this was our major maiden voyage to the Hague, over the lake of IJsselmeer. And yeah, it's freedom as well, you know. And this is our uh, last, uh, it's our place where we are now. And this is inside. So, and the funny thing is uh, when uh, when you get involved into the water, uh, suddenly all kind of I don't know how it works, but all kind of water projects is yeah come comes to us. So I met this. Uh, I, I, well, you know, this is a yeah, new way of, way of working. It's, it's always uh, really nice. So uh, I will talk about Rift Nineteen. The other, the other three, um, I think it's a bit too long, but, so, but you can ask uh, afterwards how it works. I met this guy uh, on a party, Edwin van der Vieger, and uh, he is, uh, he's a filmmaker and also a surfer. And he, uh, he, told, 
he told me uh, he had a brilliant idea to make some waves in, in the canal of, uh, of uh, Rotterdam. And I thought, wow, that's really amazing. We have to visualize that, you know. And uh, this is uh, the Stijgersgracht. It's uh, nearby the, the Markthal. I don't know if you know this place. Yes. Yeah, it's it's abandoned place in the heart of the city. It's really, nobody is doing anything with the water. So, uh, and we built a, a monument eh, over there and the water is still not in use. Yeah. And I thought, well, you know, if you, if you have this thing uh, besides the, the, the canal, yeah, the water was already in use uh, already, I think. Mm -hmm. So um, imagine this picture on the, in the <laughs> canal. It's, it's really amazing. And yeah, it's, it blow, blows my mind still after a few years. And we make some first impressions. <laughs> and, um, you know, to visualize uh, how, do, how it will look, the first, uh, yeah, collages, even a model, and uh, the first model I yeah, show you, and even a movie, yeah, it's uh, really nice uh, to see. Uh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> So, um, yeah, but how do you make waves? We, uh, I'm an architect and Edwin is a filmmaker, so we went to the TU Delft, you know, asked, so, do you know someone who, who, uh, who um, makes waves? And we came uh, across uh, Dick uh, Bassenhoff, he's a Dutchman and he makes uh, waves all over the world. And uh, he lives in Aden. And uh, I, you might know him from the movie uh, The Life of Pi. Did you see it, you know? They make this uh, pool. <laughs> Artificial pool with waves, of course, with, uh, uh, for the storm. And this is uh, the, also the, 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 the machine we will, will use in uh, Rifnel team. And here you see, you see the helmets, uh, the men with the helmets over there. You see how big the blowers are for, to, to make waves. It's incredible. But, but the technique is there, and uh, he, uh, the Dick Basnov is connected with uh, Thomas Lotterfeld. He's an old surf dude in uh, California, and he has a company called Wavelog. And you might know him from the Flow Riders, you know, but uh, he, uh, he do it all, all over the world. And uh, this is uh, the first model uh, on an exposition in uh, Los Angeles. And here you see the model of the wave, how it will look, and it's, you see how, how it breaks. And uh, actually, there are two ways. In the beginning, it's, a, it's a, a, a wave for the pros, one and a half meter high, every eight seconds. And at the end, there will be uh, another wave, 50, 50 centimeters high for the children or the beginners. Uh, and here you see how it will look like. It's uh, really incredible. Every se seven seconds, uh, a perfect wave to surf on. And uh, we decided to, to join the Stats Initiative uh, because we, uh, yeah, it was a lot of money to win. And uh, then suddenly you are uh, involved with a, a, a how to campaign, eh, to, to convince the Rotterdamers to vote on uh, the Stats, uh, your own uh, on original team. And uh, we did all kind of funny things. We have not, not a lot of money, but uh, we do all kind of funny things. You see here some uh, campaigns, even uh, published in a, in a local newspaper. And uh, that time there was uh, the world championship of uh, the football games, you know. And uh, every time when uh, Holland won, you know, in the whole Fiverr was a big party, and we go there with a surfboard. Yeah, to join them. <laughs> and here's he. <laughs> you see, um, <laughs> campaigning is also a lot of fun. <laughs> and uh, we do this kind of things in the, in the Oude Bina, Oude Haven. This guy is wearing a t shirt of Riff Notin.
so uh, we get the attention of a lot of guys, uh, people, and uh, it was really nice to do. And uh, even Schorm uh, did some, um, and I can watch it over and over itself. It's a kind of loop, so. <laughs> but you, you can imagine how uh, how um, pleased we are when we won. You know, it was incredible. It, we worked so hard for it, and uh, we won the prize. So, uh, and these are the, all the, the companies uh, we're working together with to uh, to realize uh, the wave in uh, in the Steigersgraf. And uh, it's not only making a wave in the Steigersgracht, but I think it's also an opportunity to, that Rotterdam can connect with all the rest of the water, you know, the, the Rottermere. And uh, it, yeah, I think it uh, will be nice to have a, you know, a kayak and kayak from, uh, from uh, for instance, uh, Bersa 4 plus 2 Rift 19 and end there and do some shopping and go back or have a, uh, beer on the terrace over there. Here you see uh, the implementation of it. And we made a lot of models. Uh, a lot of models. Because, yeah, it was... You bring a no totally new lifestyle into the heart of the city. How, how do you do that? It's a small place, so we, have, we thought hard. And this is uh, how it will look. This is uh, really the, the a rendering of uh, the real waves. And what you see is in the upper right corner, the wave will start breaking, and you will surf uh, eight seconds long to the to the terrace. And uh, you can imagine if you sit on the terrace having a beer, and you see all the surfers over there doing the, all the tricks, and uh, yeah, it will be the place to be, I think. So this is how it works. When you go, come back with, and you are a pro surfer, you, uh, you go to the, to the office, you get a car ticket by ticket, you jump into water, you pedal towards the wave machine, and you surf to the terrace. And this is for the beginners, the routing. And here is, uh, I think this one is better. This is uh, how it looks like. The beach house. And can you imagine that you have this kind of images over there in two years' time. It's, uh, I think it's, uh, it's never done before, you know? And it's really nice to, uh, to, yeah, to be involved in this kind of project. Here's the beach for the beginners and kids for, for learning how to surf. And uh, this is from the water. And you can organize all kind of funny things over there. Not only surfing, but also this kind of competitions. <laughs> and uh, this is uh, yeah, when, uh, when there's a, a big uh, event over there with uh, Kelly Slater, for instance. You know. <laughs> Do you know that Kelly Slater is, uh, earns more money than uh, Ronaldo? It's, it's incredible. Surfing is everywhere. You know? When you look to advertising on a, for Jeep, always have a surf uh, on, the, on the roof, uh, on top of the roof. And uh, well, this uh, is a movie, uh, what you can do there. And can you imagine this kind of, huh?
Yeah, well, this is the model in the, in the Stadhuis here in Rotterdam. Uh, I skip it. But if uh, it was uh, really fun to see uh, how how the news was spread all over the world, mail online in uh, in Germany, in uh, Malaysia, and in uh, India as well. And uh, Rivington was one of one of the reasons why uh, the Lonely Planet chose Rotterdam huh, as uh, the top ten cities in 2016. So, and it's not even built, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, and this is um, the Stijgersgracht in 2020, we hope. And uh, we will start, yeah, well, I think the this is 20 minutes, I have more work to, to talk about, but it's up to you. <laughs> what do you think? More? more. Yeah. yeah, more? Okay. Well, um, we can involved with, uh, after Richmond, we get also involved with uh, some uh, surf dudes in uh, Scheveningen. And if you look in, in a, on a good day in Scheveningen, it's full of surfers over there. Surfing is really boom, booming. Uh, you have uh, nowadays, I think, uh, 50,000 people surfing in, uh, in Holland. And uh, well, you see, it's, uh, it's really crowded. And uh, we met uh, this guy. Oh, this is about, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's. Uh, ask a question. Yeah. These people, do you have them in your design team? Yeah, surface, of course, of course, yeah, so yeah. You yeah. have a lot of experience with Yeah, the because I'm not. Yeah. And how it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's really fun because uh, the last years it's a, a kind of red race how, uh, of different companies uh, how to make artificial waves where you can surf on, and you have uh, you have to look on YouTube yourself. But uh, you have the surf lakes. It's a big, a big surf pool in uh, Australia. It's a kind of Mad Max machine making waves, but it was broke <laughs> after one week because the, the you know it's it's difficult. It's difficult because uh, yeah making good wave, but it, uh, surfing will be uh, an Olympic uh, sport in 2020 in, uh, in, uh, in Japan as well. So 15,000 active surfers. <coughs> and this is um, Jeroen and uh, Yuri uh, fr from 24-7 uh, waves. And uh, yeah, we are, yeah, of course, after Wismontin, we met them and uh, they have also plans to make waves in, uh, in The Hague. Uh, near the beach, it's difficult to make waves near the beach, and uh, but they, they have to also do this, those dreams. Uh, it's a bigger surf pool. You have well, this one is an uh, example of uh, Snowdonia in Wales, and uh, it's from Wave Garden Company, and it makes one big wave uh, every one minute. So in Rotterdam, it's every seven sec seconds a wave, and here's one minute. So but uh, it's, it's really nice, you can see it. It's different, it's a different wave. Yeah. This is Kelly Slater, by the way, and um, you see how big the wave is and how perfect the wave breaks. It uh, looks really easy, but it's, uh, <laughs> I will tell you, you have to do a lot of practice. <laughs> So we ended with, uh, with that, this idea of making a surf park because it, it's a, use a lot of, uh, of space, of course, in, uh, in uh, Zoetermeer of all places. And you have the Fatal Park there. You have now the Dutch Water Dreams. I think you, you might know them, but it's, uh, it's down. So it's, a, it's an, yeah, a really weird park, by the way. But we made some, some yeah, we, uh, we not only doing a, a surf pool, but also wakeboarding and uh, uh, mountain biking. And uh, we may also make a kind of village over there. I will go really fast through it because we were still working on a kind of Californian lifestyle, of course. And 
Do you see some images? The whole experience will be nice. And uh, we're also working uh, at the moment at the, uh, at the Surf Lodge. Uh, you might know uh, FAST, uh, the, the office uh, of uh, the, the surf, the temporary surf village in uh, Scheveningen. And on, on the same place, uh, they, were, they will make this kind of new uh, development. And one of the, uh, the spots we are working on is uh, this uh, one, a big uh, spot. And we were combining a kind of hostel with surfing, indoor surfing, bouldering, climbing and uh, skating in uh, one uh, office, of uh, one building. And here you see some images. And this is a, another different technique. It's a, it's a Germany a company from Germany, City Wave. And uh, they're making a standing wave, you know? It's not a rolling wave, but a standing wave. And you see, this is in Munich, on the airport. And you see how crowded it is. It's really... Uh, and it's really nice to do because in 20 minutes you, you know how to surf, more or less. <laughs> and it's, uh, surfing is not uh, only for, for young people, it's also for, hey, and, uh, it doesn't matter. So some images and uh, this, uh, the view from the, the roof, we make a big roof terrace. And uh, we hope to do uh, some midsummer night parties of that as well. So, and, and it's, I think it's really nice to, co you have, uh, to combine programs, but uh, yeah, uh, new programs into one building. It's really nice to do. So, and uh, the last uh, project we're working on, it's really, uh, it's the, in, the first indoor surf pool in the world. It will be in the, in the Binkhorst, in this uh, abandoned space, 18 meters long and uh, 19, 19 meters uh, wide. And uh, we have a logo as well. <laughs> it will be built uh, in a couple of months. So we hope uh, to be open in, uh, in, um, in the summer. But it's a test pool. You have to go to the website of uh, surfpool.com or NL. And, uh, to uh, to get it to buy a ticket or it's the same kind of it's just artificial wave yeah yeah artificial wave pool here's some some images over there and it's a different uh, technique as well so <laughs> okay this I think this more or less where we're working on and it's all uh, started with uh, water of course eh? <laughs> 